Happy New Year, everyone. It's Wes Dose, your favorite real estate agent here. We're making our way through January, and I don't know about you, but I've really been enjoying this unseasonably warm weather that we've been having over the course of this month. Looking back to 2022, our market took us on a wild ride from start to finish, boasting record sales, soaring home prices and attractive interest rates. As both interest rates and inflation rose during the course of the year, we saw our market begin to cool off, which really happened during the middle of summer months and then tapered off to the close at the end of 2022. In Winnipeg, December sales fell 31% year over year and fell 22.5% from the five-year average. And that's in spite of the fact that the Winnipeg Real Estate Board suggested that we had 55% more inventory on the market uh, from year over year. The average residential sale price ended uh, for 2022 at 415,574, but it took a wild ride throughout the year. Uh, starting at 395,000 in January, then it went up to 458,175 in May, and then it uh, ended at 382,412 in December, swinging that average by 76,000 from its peak down to its low throughout the course of the year. The list to sale price ratio uh, reached its peak in March 2022, topping out at 11.6% above the listed price. But then it fell every month following that and ended at 97.2% of the listed price in December 2022. Southern Manitoba sales actually followed a very similar pattern to that of Winnipeg and they actually fell in December 34% year over year to the previous year and down 13% from the five year average in spite of there being what was suggested to be 55% more inventory according to the Winnipeg Real Estate Board. The average residential sale price in 2022 ended at 412,422 but took a dramatic ride through the course of the year reaching a high of 441,000 and a low of 360,491. And that swings the average over $80,000 from its peak to its low. Uh, with the list price ratio, it carried 100% uh, from February 2021 all the way till June 2022, and then it fell every single month again after that, uh, reaching its low point of 97.2% uh, in December 2022. According to the Winnipeg Real Estate Board's report, uh, 2022 MLS sales actually achieved the third highest on record. Uh, and that would be attributed to the really strong first half of the year that we had. The last half of the year, we saw the market conditions slow down. And some people are suggesting that we're resetting to what would be like pre-pandemic market conditions. We saw interest rates climb throughout the year, and that would also be contributing to the slowing of the market. Presently, you can get a, a three to five year fixed rate mortgage somewhere in the range of 4.89 up to 5%. Variable rates are continuing to climb, but are somewhere right around that 6%. Mortgage experts are suggesting that fixed rates are coming down slightly. So if you're considering locking in, might be a good idea to lock in for like a shorter term mortgage, like possibly a three year term. If you're considering selling your home in today's changed market, it's important to make sure that your home is as market ready as humanly possible. To achieve a sale in today's tougher market, the home is gonna to have to present in its best possible condition, and that is cleaned, maintained, and well staged. Make sure to select an agent who can provide guidance in all of those areas, as well as providing professional photography, videography, and employs all of the methods to market your home to as wide a client base as humanly possible. Pricing the home is also key to achieving a sale in today's market. Gone are those days of inflating a price and expecting it to sell. A great agent should be able to provide advice in all of these areas. If you're considering a purchase in as either a primary residence or an investment property this year, now is your opportunity. With the slowing of the market over the last quarter, we now have inventory that's available that you can get out there and see right away. As days on the market stack up, the introduction of negotiability is now here again, which we haven't seen since pre-pandemic times, making our present market what I consider to be a buyer's market, which means that there's more inventory and there's less buyers. Um, this is always subject to change as we head into spring, the market cycles improve and that is something that you always want to take into account. My suggestion is get pre-approved and get out there today. 
As always, I hope this has been informative. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us. However you found this, please like, subscribe, or follow. Thank you so much for watching.